I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. The struggle is real with the makeup nurse. Today is Friday. So it's even great because it's first impressions Friday. So let's go ahead and get started. So I do have this palette. It's the Kenya Antiveros Beauty Glowing Go Kit that I got out of my, I think I was about to try, I don't know, one of them. And it's got a bunch of neutrals, which, you know me, I gotta have a little color. Um, it's got the brow products, it's got the face powders. So we're gonna try using most of this, but um, yeah, so we'll go, we'll go ahead and get started. And we'll start with this light shade here called Driven, it's the transition shade. Okay, now let's um, do a little, maybe darker, uh, let's just do the Empower shade and put that, on, I guess, on the corner of my eye. So I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend and Friday. Fridays are always good, even though it's going to be very stressful today. But guess what? It's Friday. I can get through it. All right, let's go ahead and use this Limitless shade. For the inner portion of the eye. Let's go back in with this Driven shade, the transition, and just kind of put that up here. Kind of blend up that together. And maybe a little bit more to kind of blend into that glitter shade or shimmer shade. Okay, now we're gonna go in with this Dragon Beauty Eyeliner. It's got a felt tip. So I am going to do this. Okay, it's, it's going on nice. We'll see how it does with the wing, because I usually go in with a different, um, stiffer type of, liner for the wing but let's see how this goes for the wing Yeah. 
this is gonna I'm more used to a thicker or a stiffer um I've been going in with like that magic collection where it has a stiffer felt tip for the wing but they actually didn't do too bad let's try this one was a little long. Oh well. How about not? Kinda. I was gonna go in that with a black um liner for my waterline, but we're so neutral. I think I'm going to be a little bold and with this pharmacy um, eyeliner, I think this is like a darker green. I'm going to go under I'm, with this in my waterline. Don't know how this is going to look with the neutral color. But it's dark, so hopefully it still doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it kind of does still look. You can barely tell it's green. So, and it went out pretty good. So, I like that. For a primer, I want to try this glass primer by Rodile. I heard, um, actually, uh, some of the reviews I've seen were actually pretty, um, they were really good. So, I'm excited to try it. I can get this thing off. All right. Oh, it's different. Um, it's not what I expected. Okay. Oh, I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, I guess. I guess I was expecting more of a clear. It's still a clone type, but it is kind of sticky, which is, I guess, good for a primer. And it does have a glow already to my face, and it is sticky, not like some. You know, not like the silicone type primers. So we'll see how that wears, but it's making my face look glowy, which is good, I guess. So now I'm going to go in with this Honey Jarrett Clean Cover Cushion. I can't remember where I got this from. I guess it really doesn't matter. It's probably one of my subscriptions. And... I think I'm going to use a sponge and not this. Well, let's try this first, and then we can go in with the sponge. Because I think with the Wet n Wild, I think I ended up with using that. And not my sponge, so let's see. Ooh, I wonder if that's going to be too dark. Oh, well. We'll make it work. Well, I guess not. It's not, I think it's this thing. Because it's not covering. Okay, I'm going to go in with the sponge. I'll be right back. Yeah, unless it's not a full coverage foundation. It was not. Oh, it works so much better with the sponge. Is this what I did with my cushion one? I can't remember. Or the one wild one? Probably. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's so much better. It's still very lightweight, but, um, and it's not as full coverage that I would like, especially because I'm starting to break out right here, and I'll show you why. So, even though this says don't use on your face, I'm like, it's a serum, it's got AHA, BHA, why can't you use it on your face, right? Well, I started breaking out. But also, it says only use two to three times a week, and I've been using it every day because it's like a thick serum, so it's almost like a moisturizer and serum in one, and I kind of liked it. Well, it's probably because it's supposed to be for your body, so it's going to be more moisturizing. Well, I'm starting to break out, so I can't use it on my face no more. So when the directions say that, but you know what? A lot of times they'll say like the glitter eyeshadow or whatever you can't use on your face and, or on your eyes. Well, it's eyeshadow. What the heck? Um, so I thought maybe it was one of those. But I really think the reason why they put that is because if there's, since it is glitter, it could get in your eye and cause an, you know, and then if it does, it can... Um, cause an abrasion and they don't want the liability because they probably know people are going to put it on their eyes but if they put that disclaimer you can't sue them if you get an abrasion um, on your eye and you know it hurts I've had abrasions before to my eye and they do hurt okay so now we're gonna go in with concealer and I am gonna try this check black liquid concealer hopefully this is my shade because I got this out of my ipsy I don't like the applicator. I mean, why don't they give you something a little different? I mean, how are you supposed to? Oh. How are you supposed to use this? I guess with your finger, I guess. Just like, I don't know. I mean, at least, like, there's some that have kind of like this, but it has the ball, and you can kind of, like, rub it on or whatever. This is not user-friendly, at least for me. But let's see how it wears. So that foundation from Pharmacy actually wore really good. If you saw my wear test yesterday, I was really shocked at um, how less patchy it was from usual when I wear a mask all day. And my mask had about the same amount of... Uh, like makeup in it throughout, you know, that I normally have it throughout the day. It was like, you know, obviously it's full of makeup, the inside. So I was expecting it to still look really patchy and um, whatever. It wasn't bad. So I think next Wednesday I'm going to try their CC cream because I know some people like more of a lightweight foundation because that's a matte foundation. So it was a little heavier, but it's more full coverage and see if that wears the same. I'm kind of interested in that. All right, so now we are going to go in with powder. Or no, I'm sorry. I gotta do my cream bronzer and I'll be back. Okay, now we're gonna use this cream blush. I think it's, yeah, it does say blush on it. It looks like it's space something. Um, I found it in, That's this is the one that I found in my, um, And my exploded bag. So let's see. It's dirty though. Probably because of the explosion. 
and I've never tried it because back then, oh my gosh, I didn't wear cream blushes, so I didn't know how to use it until I started experimenting and practicing. So I know I haven't tried it before, but it's probably not a fair um, thing because it's been in a in a bag for who knows how long. Still actually not doing so bad. Despite <laughs> how old it probably is and that's probably why. So, I mean, it went on okay. I had to play around with it, but I think that's only because that's that's not the product's fault. That's how long it's been. Okay, now I'm gonna, I can't remember if I've tried these or not. These are, um, this is from DM Denisa Merricks, and it says lip, cheek, and eye color. I think I've actually used this for, um, <laughs> tried it on my lips first. I don't think I've tried it as a highlight. And if I have, sorry, I can't remember. Sometimes I just can't remember what I, I do. My husband's like, you are really forgetful lately. Maybe you should go get checked. I'm like, no, it's, it's the stress I'm under. My brain only works at work. <laughs> When I get off of work, it just seems like it shuts off. You know, <laughs> oh, that's my school calling me. Hold on. I hung up on them. So they keep calling me because I, this whole year I didn't enroll because I'm like, <coughs> I've been in school my entire life, almost 40 years. And I am just so anymore <clears throat> okay so this is supposed to be face powder but it's so tiny so let me see what kind of brush I can use for this I'll be right back all right so I'm just gonna try to dig in and use this as I mean honestly since it's in this type of palette I could just use this as a transition shade as an eyeshadow and it's so small so I don't know how good it's actually gonna work but anyway I've been in school my entire life and I've always wanted to well when I was in high school I wanted to be a brain surgeon obviously that didn't happen um, so when I got in the graduated and I went into college a junior college I was gonna go get my biology degree and become a brain surgeon. Well, I got pregnant first semester. And my mom was afraid that because I got pregnant, she I wouldn't finish school school and go to med school and what am I gonna do with a biology degree? Other than like maybe teaching or whatever. And it's harder to find a job doing that than if I went to nursing school and then became a doctor. So she convinced me, and so that's what I did. I'm gonna just use this um, illuminating powder, powder from Physicians Formula. I think I've already used this, but I'm gonna use it again just for my T-zone. I can't remember if I've used it or not. So anyway, then after I became a nurse and went and on and got all my degrees, nursing I still wanted to be a get a doctor but I did not want to I was done with the bedside because at this time I've been in quality so I didn't want to be a nurse practitioner or a PA or anything like that so I went the administration route with my master's but I still wanted a doctorate and I've been doing a lot of PI so I um, I kind of like this um, 
It's supposed to look like my under eye. Did I? I've already used it. I don't remember. Like how good it did. Well, I guess this kind of set decent. So, I guess. Now I'm going to go on with this. I guess it's supposed to be the bronzer, I'm assuming. It's the divine shade. Ooh. Oh well, we'll blend it in. Hopefully it blends pretty good. But, um, so anyway, th this is embarrassing. So I went to North Central University, got almost all, all the way done with my doctorate, and um, you had to write a final like paper or whatever to, before you could do your dissertation. And it, the final paper was gonna be like, what your dissertation is, the problem, all that, from all the research that I um, did throughout the um, um, the courses. So I did it, and they didn't think it was good enough. They let me retry it, and I kind of did a different angle. They still didn't like it, so they said, you're done. I, and all I had was my dissertation left, which I was so bummed, but I'm like, you know what, fine, I'll go to a different school. So I stuck. And I was hoping like a lot of the credits would stuck, um, would, would transfer. One class transferred. So I had to start all the way over. So, Okay, let's see how good this blends. Let me just take some of this shade and blend this dark bronzer. But anyway, so I start over and I have taken about five or six classes. And then th this last year, 2020, I just couldn't do it anymore. And they keep calling me, just you know, and leaving messages, and probably to be like, "Hey, you gonna enroll? Hey, you gotta sign up for your student loans." And I'm like, and my husband, because I was like, I'm gonna stay in school until I die because I don't want to pay my student loans because student loans is they're they are tied to you, so like if I die, nobody has to pay them back. They're just, I died. So, <laughs> because as long as you're in school, you don't have to pay them. And, but I get it, you're racking up <laughs> more loans, more, you know, whatever. And um, just so you don't have to pay them, but I owe more than a house on my student loans. All right, we're gonna try this blush shade. So anyway, but this last year, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this because you have six months. I'm like, I'll take six months off and then I'll go back to school. So I don't have to pay them and I get a break. You guys, I am so done. I do not want to do school anymore. I don't care about having a doctor anymore. I have enough education. I have probably more education than a lot of the people that are above me. So it's not the education that is going to get me anywhere at this point because I have more education than a lot of people. It was just the whole point that I wanted it. I've always wanted a doctorate. But you know what? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm burned out. I don't care anymore. And I'm not a quit. I'm not usually a quitter, but you know what? I guess I'm a quitter now. All right. Let's see. Does this have a highlighter? No, it doesn't really look like it has a highlight. So I am going to use this Makeup Revolution highlighter. I don't, I don't believe I used this last time. If I did, I'm sorry. So yeah, it's embarrassing. I pretty much failed out of that doctorate program. And now I'm quitting this one after just five classes all these student loans and nothing to 
show for it. Well, part of my student loans are my, you know, nursing degrees and stuff and my MBA, but most of it was, a lot of it is from the doctor program. All right, let's try the powder for the eyebrows. I don't, I've only used powder a couple times and that's just to try it when I got a powder. We'll see how this goes. Let's try the lighter shade. I am not, I don't know if I can do powder. I'm not very good at this. Now some, some of the beauty influencers on YouTube, they do it so nice and so good. And then that's why I've been doing more of like a tint and just kind of going over them. But it probably would help if I had more time. And when I got my hair done, I didn't have, by that time, I didn't have time to go to a nail place to one get my nails done and then do my brows so my brows are still awful um anyway so where are we at let's review the results i oh that was powder right huh, that's a powder and it had fallout on my brows i hope i'm not getting out of my white shirt anyway sorry so yeah, so now you guys know how my embarrassing um, failure of my school. All right, so now I'm going to go on with this vintage um, cashmere lip pencil. Oh, wow. Okay, whatever. And I'm going to... Oh, it's so much nicer than the other pencil that I have that I hate. I was re ready to dig into my lip to get some pigment. All right. Well, I can't get that back on right now. Now I want to try this base blue lipstick or matte or whatever. But I don't know about this color. We'll see. And I don't know if it'll even match the liner. Will it match? I don't know. Well, I'm too late now. Actually, not too bad. The liner's a little lighter, but... That's okay. It's very drying, though. I mean, it's a little. I guess it's not, but... That's weird. It's like a drying mat, but it's got like some, but it's not as like creamy as some. Not as bad as I thought, but not my favorite. It still needs some moi uh, something to moisten it. So I'm gonna use this, this um, pillow balm lip treatment. I don't think I've tried this one yet. And I would smell it, but I'm still gonna smell it. Maybe. You know, I'd almost rather have lost my taste in my smell because then maybe I won't eat as much.
Okay, now we got to finish up doing the pop of my in the brow bone of my eye. There's really nothing in this palette that I want for that. So I think I am going to use my Wet n Wild highlighter and finish that. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put that up here and hopefully try to clean up my brows. Sorry guys, my brows didn't turn out very good. I'm just not good at it. Okay, let's put a little pop right here. Okay. All right. I'm done there. I'm going to put setting spray on and I'll be back. You guys, look at this highlight. It is glowing. Hmm. I kind of like that. Maybe it's a little too glowy, but... Okay, I'm going to try this Surfer Curl from T. Oh, T. It's Tart C. <laughs> Oh good, the wand's not too, too thick. So yeah, um, I get so embarrassed that um, about that that on my resume I don't even include because you know how like some people who um, have done some college or whatever they'll put oh I have 45 credit hours in a doctorate program or whatever on the resume um, out of 60 or whatever <sighs> oh I, why do I always never fails poke my left eye or my on my left eye. <laughs> the struggle is real and now I just cut it over. <sighs> anyway. And that hurts when you poke your eye. Oh, great. Now I have, I'll fix it. Oh, you know what? I do need to go, I forgot to go in with this and do under my eye. So while that's drying, I'll do this and then I can do my lower lashes and then fix all that up. And then I think I'll go in with the, some of the glitter, shiny shade, and make this a little more shiny. I guess you can't really tell that I put green on the bottom, can you? It's because it's a dark green, and then with the black. So it didn't, wasn't too bad. Why is this doing this? Like, I put it in, and it just, like... That's not good. All right, let's do the lower lashes. Oh my goodness, is it like a fault day around here? It's like getting everywhere. And I just got this out of my, oh my, um, Ipsy. Like, I just literally got it. Okay, it's making a mess. I don't know if it's, the, it, it must be a faulty one. I mean, it's, oh my gosh, I just got it all over this table. Housekeeping is not going to be happy. All right, I got to go clean this up. I'll be back. All right, this is the final look using some of the products. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this palette just because it's all neutral. I'd like a little bit of color, but I mean, they went on fine and everything. I don't know. I mean, it, these are too small to really be powders. Um, 
If I use this again, I'll use it as like more transition shades with another palette for the eyes. And um, of course, I'll try to use up the other stuff, um, you know, the other shades and stuff for the palette just so it doesn't go to waste. Um, I did like this highlighter. I that this mascara I don't know if it's faulty but it was hard to use because it was all getting all over the place so I don't know if it's the mascara's fault but this Tarte um, Pearl is not the greatest I don't really like this um, just because it I like more of a gloss but you can put gloss over it um, the eyeliners and the lip liners were fine this was a little bit hard to get the cream blush on but it could be because it's old I didn't I liked the primer so far it was good the foundation was okay it just um, I, I like a little bit more full coverage but for the people who like lightweight um, that's a good foundation for you um, and you can put on another layer and it still feels lightweight with a little more co uh, coverage um, so that parts good but anyway that's the most of that's the brows again in this palette I'm not the I liked it, but um, I prefer like a tint. I'm better at doing a tint or using the eye pencil, not necessarily a powder. So um, I'm not a big fan of a fan, fan of powders. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today. Sorry it's a longer video, um, but I hope you liked it. If so, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and um, hit that little bell next to it so you're notified of future uploads. And also, if you're not new, welcome back and thank you very much for your support. I'll see you next time.